So for today, we're going to be looking at the Titan armor set specifically for the raid armor. So if you guys don't know, we already reviewed the raid armor video. It's right here. We go over how it looks, how it shaders, some special interactions that they have. And we also go through each of the individual pieces for each of the classes, which is new. So if you guys like that video, let me know in the comments below. We also already made the hunter set. It's right here. You guys can check that one out. Definitely some super dope sets right there actually some of my better looking sets i'm gonna be real man I'm, i kind of surprised myself with that one this one i also have some cool sets but i will say the third one is like legitimately my favorite it's super cool so titans let me know what you guys think let's just get into it so the one thing you guys are going to notice about all of these sets is the fact that a lot of these are hive themed or hive adjacent that's just unfortunately the case of just the armor set just it just looks very hive to me and to be fair, that's just me being me, but I've seen people do some really cool stuff with the arms that are not hive themed. It's just for me, that's my first thought that I went into it. Uh, for the arms, which is what we're gonna be using first, we're gonna be using the Dragon Regalia Helm with the Descending Echo Chest Piece and the Husk Crusher Ornament for the Doom Marchers. So a lot of hive pieces in this set with the War Newman's Mark as well. This one is definitely cool. I really, really like this set. My only gripe about this set is I could have used a better shader for the black for the arms. Cryptic Insignia is really, really good. But as you guys can see from the chest piece, specifically the like plate, it's like a really rich black. So I think I probably would have, I put it, it would have been better. Uh, my time would have been better spent finding a better shader for this or just finding a shader that goes well with the whole set. It's just the unfortunate part, and I do talk about this in the review for the armor, is the the fact that the armor is actually coded as leather, not plate armor. So a lot of the pieces are going to take leather instead of armor piece colors, which is why you're seeing different shaders and whatnot. It is unfortunate because it really does limit you because, again, specifically for Titans, you guys don't have a lot of leather pieces and even some of the ones that you do that will not look good with this because again this is like eldritch horror slash like almost hive i can see people seeing hive in this but it's more like eldritch horror and it's just we don't have a lot of that and it, a lot of the pieces we do have aren't even like leather armor it's plate armor usually so i don't know let me know what you guys think as for the next set i actually really, really like this set it's super super cool for the helmet, Pylos following helm was actually the last choice for this set because the first sets I was like descending echo and for you plate, I definitely want to combine with it and the boots. Obviously, I'm going to combine with it as well because that's what I'm using. And then the wing discipline, I wanted something ratchet looking, something like fucked up because uh, every other piece is like hive themed. So it just makes sense to me. And then the Pylos following was just like, ooh, that'd be really cool. And then Horizon Blush, I was going through my shaders and you immediately saw Horizon Blush and I was like, this is it. This is super dope. Like it looks really, really cool. My only gripe is I don't know what exotic you would put with this one because I mean, you could probably put an exotic that has like hive themed stuff like the husk crushers that we just saw, but then it kind of defeats the purpose of me using the boots because that's the whole point of this video. I would probably switch out the helmet for an exotic or the arms for an exotic because I don't think there's any good ones for the chest piece. But overall, I really like this set as a whole. Like just from what from this it looks really cool i like the color separation of the chest piece and arms and helmet having like this really deep like brown black color with like this orange glow and then the boots have like the lighter color of it which starts at the belt and actually kind of in the stomach as well like aside from the plate armor you can see that like brown um like leather piece all connecting to the boots it looks really really cool and then you see that really cool gemstone that's like really bright so i do think this set looks super cool i definitely probably would just switch out the helmet for something else but overall i really do like this set and last but not least using kepri's horn with just so many things happening all right let me explain so for the technosaurus claws this one i'm using specifically because there's like horns on the sides and spiky which let's be real kepri's horn has a lot of that which is why i'm combining both of them and then we have the raid chest piece and mark specifically because the mark has that pointy bit on the stomach and the other other point of that is the stomach or specifically the chest piece so that's why you have that really cool interaction the boots for and greaves was an easy choice because i'm trying to go for like a nightly like it kind of reminds me like a nightly bug almost kind of feel 
So that's actually really cool. The only gripe I have with this, and again, this is going to be a problem you guys will see with every of the like individual pieces for the raid armor videos is the fact that the color of the boots do not match the color of the chest piece or the mark. That's like the biggest gripe I can give this armor. It's just very annoying. Other than that, I think the set looks fucking good. Not only that, Kepri's horn is actually viable because it actually uh, stacks with strand. So yeah, definitely super dope. Definitely going to be using this set in future videos because again, it's super cool or not future videos, but my future builds, I should say. But yeah, Titans, let me know what you guys think. I definitely think the Kepri's horn set is probably the best one, like hands down, just looks really, really cool. I would probably just go in and switch out the shaders around because Crucible Al Al Alizarin, whatever it's called, I, I like it. It looks really cool. It's just unfortunate that the chest piece doesn't match the everything else. So at that point, I would probably just switch the shaders to like an all black shader. So that way I can just use Cryptic Insignia for the chest piece and Mark. And then the other pieces, I'll just find some black for that. So that's probably what I would do just to like make it easier on myself. Because again, just annoying that I have to do that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, Titans, did what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I am really excited to show you some of the content I've been working on. But that's for that video. I will check, catch you guys in the next one. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.